into the dark multiverse. Except they actually are. Hawkgirl says the planet Thanagar is preparing to destroy Earth to save the multiverse. Get to Thanagar and meet with her. Maybe we can hold off the Thanagarians long enough to put things right. Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon recording from the DC Universe online test server. So, just as I thought, we did get Metal 2 on test. So we're going to go take a look at how the story begins. So it left off where we finished um, the Monsters of Metal raid and we were transported to um, the Metal Universe at the end. So this seems like it's picking up from Thanagar. So we're going to go see where that is and check out the open world missions. Uh, let me make a couple of adjustments. So if you saw my previous video, um, and you can link to that in the upper right card. I already set up my character so that she's close to where uh, where she is on live and this is how she's going to be entering Metal 2. Uh, it says continue to Thanagar but there is no arrow. So we're just going to look for a new teleporter. It could be that it's just not set on test yet. Let's see if it's on the other side. Age of Justice, New Genesis, it's going to be Titans. Oh wait, there it is. And then we've got the Hawkman set as the purple here. Dawnbreaker is going to be the, the higher set. So this is the drop. And then of course the boxes are going to have the enhanced versions of that. So I'm pretty happy about that actually because the, the Hawkman one in my opinion is the better looking one. And it's more it's going to be more common. So here's Thanagar. And we're going to talk to Hawkgirl first. Here. Thanagar's not exactly around the corner, but it's a second home to me and Hawkman. That big gun up there? The more hawkish Thanagarians want to use the Phoenix Cannon to destroy Earth. They think that will stop the Dark Multiverse from destroying our reality. Things are a real mess here, but that gives us an opportunity to help the locals and win their trust. We need them to hold off on attacking Earth until we figure out a way to stop Barbatos and his Dark Knights. I've never seen things this bad, but together, we may have a chance. is using the Dark Knight's invasion as cover for their own misdeeds. Uh, we'll, we'll sort through these after ah, pick them all up. Sent you. She's been a great help. We would welcome your assistance with the Cult of the Seven Devils. I used to be one of them, so I know they'll use these trying times to wreak havoc. Okay, this guy looks pretty cool. Thanks for coming. I'm Commander Talarto, the Green Lantern of Sector 2682. Our military is the greatest in the galaxy. But in times like these, you are welcome out Heads up. We're convening a war council in the Oblivion Bar. Cunning as he is, the Batman who laughs shouldn't be able to bypass the forest's magical 
defenses. We're going to figure out how to take down the Dark Knights once and for all. Oh, there is one more. Welcome to Thanagar. I've been ordered to provide visitors with background on our world, so... The Thanagarian Empire is the greatest empire in the universe. Our strength and glory are unparalleled. That's all you need to know. Okay, so let's see what we have. Um, okay, that's going to be mixed in with Metal 1. Let's go by Location and Thanagar. Okay, so we've got the Artifact missions, and these are going to be for... These overlap, like the on-duty stuff we're, we're going to be doing anyway, so let's ignore those for now. Alright, this looks like a daily. Um, note that the entry CR is 276, as I thought. So that means the vendor gear is 255. Um, what is this? Heads up. We're convening a war council in the Oblivion Bar. Cunning as he is, the Batman who laughs shouldn't be able to bypass the forest's magical defenses. We're going to figure out how to take down the Dark Knights once and for all. Okay, so it actually looks like the story is supposed to start with the duo. So, Metal Part 2... Did we assist T. Lardo yet? No, it, it, it does begin with the duo, but we're, we're not going to do that yet, um, because I'm going to see if I could get a League mate over to the test server. So, it looks like three dailies, um, and then just one bounty, one group mission. Um, then there's an exploration. That's probably a separate video. I just want to get see what the daily missions are. It actually seems like there's four. Well, let, let's just highlight the first one and see where it takes us. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. That, that's like a bonus because it says assist him four times. Surprise it's not five. It's usually five. Okay, let's do this. So we get an arrow there. Collect lantern rings. Alright. This has my this has my old loadout. So it looks like this is overlapping one of the other ones. And it looks like there's something I'm supposed to interact with above. Okay, the lantern rings are, you just have to touch them. And this is part of the exploration. It's a bit inconsistent like how like user friendly some of these items are. Cuz notice how the lantern rings are also marked on the map. So, uh okay, this area like with the ones floating above, it's going to favor um the the flight movement mode. 
Uh, open world tends to be unfair that way, where uh, you, you're going to have an advantage if you're flight. Um, this is for the most part a non-combat mission. It looks like there's different colored rings. Now something you, you will also notice is that there's no kill counter going, unless I forgot to pick it up. <coughs> but I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Now this one with the rings, um, it should be kind of interesting to see with a real population because like all it is is a, is a touch so there isn't going to be like shared credit. It, it would be the same as like picking up those magic balls from Justice League Dark. Um, credit doesn't get shared unless you're, you're grouped. Alright, so we finished the first one. We're not going to do um, the exploration. Uh, that is probably, the, that's the overlap one. Um, let's do, okay, let's do this one because it seems to overlap in the zone. So you see how the, the quest with the rings was marked, but this one that I'm doing now is not. But you, you can find it because it's going to be a red and green dot together, um, because you're trying to save an ally. annoying if you get another node mixed in because you your timer could run out on this guy I thought I'd be infected Thank all right you. so we're looking for red and green dots now this is also this is inconsistent from episode to episode because there, there's a similar one like this in age of justice where you're you're helping out allies and it does get marked by a, a white dot. I mean, if they're going to use the white dot to mark 
like your objectives, they should just do that for every quest. Yeah, see that one is a it's a red and green, but that's not the quest I'm looking for. And there we go. So the, the third daily is the one that's a little bit further away. <clears throat> so let's see how big Thanagar actually is. Wow, that does look pretty big. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit bigger than Atlantis, because Atlantis would be like this. And then there's this additional peninsula here. But this is definitely an original map. It, it isn't like... I kind of thought maybe they would like reskin the Titans Island and put new buildings in it, but... Uh, it's a different shape, different map, different buildings. It's, it's entirely different. It looks like there's a bounty down there. Alright, so this looks like it's, it was part of the mission I had before, but without the mission, I can't pick this guy up. So that, that's another inconsistency. Like in a lot of the recent episodes, you're allowed to interact even if you don't have the mission. And sometimes that's annoying because, it, you know, like if you knock out a node that you need to interact with next to something that's not your mission, sometimes you'll end up like interacting with the wrong one. And either the timer will run out, or like someone will come by and steal it. So it's good when you can't interact with it, when you don't have the mission. Hopefully we see that throughout. That's another exploration. Let's take a look at the landscape. seems pretty straightforward. It's a little bit annoying that the other quest nodes are so close to it. So far the number of objectives seems pretty fair in the three quests that I have. But it's just one of those things that's, that's hard to gauge without like a real population. Like, um, I'm, I'm thinking that Lantern Ring one could be a problem. Um, this one probably not. They seem pretty spread out. We 
have some invisible enemies. The, the ones that are unguarded, like the one I picked up um, on top of that tent, that might be a bug. It might be a spawn bug, like where uh, the objective is on the tent. And Oh yeah, see that that's the guy that should be next to it. But like half of the nodes spawned on the tent and half of it was under. <laughs> So each one should have an enemy on it. And sometimes there's an invisible one that comes out of nowhere. That could be a pretty cool material. Oh no, that's just uh, no, it's just liquid metal with two different colors. For some reason, I'm still stuck in combat. Oh, it looks like we can't go all the way up. So, they did put like an invisible ceiling on this. That's, that's a little bit weird as far as user experience, but I think they do that for performance reasons, because you, you remember Atlantis, the, the ceiling for Atlantis used to be higher, and then it had performance problems, so they lowered it. Um, let's see where the warp rally takes us. Alright, so we're just going to turn in these quests. The invaders are trying to subvert our troops into their own cannon. Thanks for collecting these rings. The metal is preventing them from flying. Destroying their nth the metal stores will slow down the cult's latest attempts to resurrect Onimar Sin. Impressive. Are some of the collections we just picked up. Grab the lockbox. And let's see what base items we got. Yeah, typically on, on test, uh, I'm going to go for the base items because I don't want my CR to go up. where it would be useful. Wait, did I, did I forget to consume them again? Okay, so they all have Thanagar. <clears throat> okay, so they're all wall items. So this is one of the banners we saw. The Hawk logo. It does pop out a little bit, Scanning so there's a rack perimeter. for it. A media center, so another tech item. Patrolling for intruders. Okay, there's an awning that looks like it might have problems. I actually like this better than the Themyscirin one because that one, <clears throat> it's a it's a floor item. Um, this one you can kind of adjust the height. So this is a bit better for customizing, uh, like a village or marketplace. And it, it is solid, so you could get pretty creative with that. I 
let's take a look at the media center. about as far as I could zoom into it. I just want to see if these are hieroglyphics. I think some of them might be, except that that larger one is something else. Alright, well that is it for the dailies. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna end the video with just me flying around Thanagar, so we can get a better look at the landscape. But uh, that that's gonna be it for my first video of the dailies. So just enjoy the rest of it.